just such a vibe. What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is finally spooky season and it is time for this year's annual Halloween decor haul. Can you believe it? I feel like I just filmed this video. <laughs> I feel like last year's haul video just happened like a week ago. I don't know where this year went. Spooky season is in full swing and I am here to share with you all of the decor items I picked up for Halloween 2023. I have a lot of gems for you guys that I'm really excited to show you. So let's just jump right into it. As you can see here, I have Bone Hilda with me yet again and she raided my closet, okay? So rude. She raided my closet today just for the occasion. She's got her little Above Ordinary hat on and if you guys don't know what Above Ordinary is or the company AOMG, okay? You can check out my second channel down below. I will link it. Huge AOMG fan over here. So she's got my favorite Above Ordinary beanie on, one of my most beloved leather jackets, and my annual scarf, man. She raided my closet. She's got my best pieces on. She's ready. She's ready to go. As am I. I resurrected the skeleton dress once again. Don't mean to hurt your feelings, Bone Hilda. See, that's why she did it. That's why she raided my closet. She's she's so mad that I keep wearing the skeleton dress. She thinks I'm making fun of her. So she's got to raid my closet to get back at me. I see you. You think I'm dressing like you, so you got to dress like me now. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. So to put myself in the festive mood, I've got myself head to toe scented like pumpkin spice. And once again, I am drinking another festive tasty beverage and that is Elysian's Night Owl Pumpkin Ale. This is a really good one, you guys. And for some reason, the label is reminding me of Blair Witch 2, the scene with Kim and the owl. And she's just got her Wicked Ale. Unfortunately, Wicked Ale that they drink in the film is now discontinued. So I feel like this is the next best thing you could get. Very vibey. But you want Hilda, you want one? It really goes with your vibe right now. It goes with your outfit. Look at you. No? Okay. You had your chance. It's the last one. No? Okay. I'm gonna start with Home Goods first since I think that is the place where I bought the most items. I'm looking at so much here, it's kind of crazy. Home Goods is always my favorite place to shop for Halloween. So without further ado, let's get started. Everything I picked up this year is very themed. I have themes in mind, things that I've done before, but that I want to elevate this year. So I'm gonna start kind of by color scheme right now. First, this item, you guys, is so gorgeous. I think, Bone Hilda, are you? Are you flirting right now? I think I found Bone Hilda's new boyfriend, and that would be this amazing masquerade skeleton bust. You guys, look how crazy beautiful this is. I don't have any batteries in it right now, but the eyes do light it's up. It's a beautiful vampire collar with a gold bat, and this gorgeous masquerade mask, roses on the top hat. I mean, can you get any more beautifully gothic and festive than this? No, no you can't. Look at a cute couple they make. I got this guy to go in our black and gold living room where I always choose a very black and gold art deco theme for Halloween and he's just gonna be a perfect addition to that area this year. I'm really excited to see what I'm gonna do with this guy, but I just knew he was perfect and I think he's a perfect match for Bone Hilda. So I have to set them up on a little little date night. What do you think? What do you think, Bone Hilda? Maybe you should have dressed up a little bit better today, huh? Instead of raiding my closet. This bust is absolutely amazing. So gorgeous, so detailed, perfect everything. It's gonna fit in beautifully. So excited to see how that area turns out this year with everything that I picked up. But this is piece number one, beautiful skeleton masquerade vampire skeleton bust. A lot of things going on here, but it, it works really well. Love it. Sticking with the black and gold theme, I also picked up this guy. Also another skeleton in the top hat. I don't know what, is with me with that this year, but I seem to really like that. That seems to be my vibe and we're going with it. But I really think this guy is so awesome. He feels old timey to me. I wouldn't say he seems like 1920s, but he's old timey enough and like could be like blues jazz musician from back in the day. And I just feel like with the bow tie and the top hat, he really fits in with our art deco vibe. So he is gonna go there as well. The crafting of this is just so well done. Absolutely beautiful piece, very sturdy as well. So like this is so simple but it can really tie an area together and i'm really excited to see how i use him as like a some kind of filler in the background on maybe the bar cart we'll see he's just so cute i really love his little toothy grin he's kind of reminding me of corpse bride a bit now just a little bit just a little bit 
So the next and last piece that I got for the Art Deco area is this absolutely stunning charcuterie board. It is matte black with gold snakes as handles. And you guys, this matches absolutely perfect with one of the Bath and Body Works candles I just picked up, Midnight Spell, with a gold snake on the lid. And it just, oh, it's all gonna go. It's all gonna come together. I'm really excited to make a really gorgeous fall charcuterie board on here and watch some old school spooky movies in our Art Deco living room. Like, it's such a vibe. So that is it for the black and gold art deco items I got. Everything else is very on theme, goes together, very black, orange, white vibe. Love to stick with that color scheme because it just works for everything. I'm gonna start with this set of coasters that I got, which is by Tahari Home. These are some really gorgeous beaded coasters. I should actually try to open this up and show them to you guys. Hold on. Man, y'all, these scissors though, slice my finger open early. Never try to hand clean hair cutting scissors, okay? Slice my finger right open. How very spooky season of me. But yeah, I, oh, <gasps> these are different designs. I had no idea. I thought they'd all match, but I like it. Okay, cute. Okay, okay, coasters. Okay, to hurry home. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Okay, this is all I saw on the outer packaging, okay? I got this because I'm trying to amp up my carnival circus theme that I do in my coffee bar area. Kind of strewing that around the house a little bit, getting a little more vintage with it, black and orange vibe, but I thought like this was really nice, you know, striped pumpkin, vibey, you know? But then they have all these. They have a black and gold one. What? They've got this one, white and gold. What? Perfect for Thanksgiving, by the way. But look at these little different designs. I was not expecting this. Why did I assume that they'd all be the same pattern? But like, how could I know? I didn't open it. <laughs> how could I know? In store, how could I know? Seriously, these are so stunning and I'm so happy I picked these up. I'm so glad that there's a variety and you know whose is whose when you set your drink down. And they're so, they're large, man. This will hold not just your typical standard size drink, like you can put your big mugs on here. I'm just hoping that the beads don't melt from something that's too hot, but you know, I guess we'll find out. These coasters, amazing. So happy with it. Absolutely worth the price. Can you guess how much these were? $7.99 for a set of four. Very excited to use these. I mean, perfection. Absolute perfection. Next up, I picked up these little salt and pepper shakers. I got them because they are dressed like some little circus clowns and they fit right in with my black, orange, and white color scheme. I really want to elevate my Halloween carnival concept this year, so I thought that these would be perfect for that. Salt and pepper shakers are always a perfect little piece to put on a tier of a tray in a kitchen, on a coffee bar. They just are really great filler for little spaces where you just need that little extra something, so that's most likely what I'm gonna use these for this year and I just I think they're super cute definitely something I was looking to pick up this year sticking with the carnival theme that we're talking about I did pick up this set of four kitchen napkins and they are water repellent which is really cool they have this really awesome circusy type checkered design and I just think that they're really gonna help tie in this Halloween carnival concept that I have going on I just feel like I needed a few extra pieces around the kitchen to tie that theme together because I just kind of been just doing the coffee bar that way and not taking little pieces and adding them around the kitchen to make the room cohesive so I just thought these would be really cool to use in the kitchen very on theme print I love the little the little label this is hypnotized with the candies so cute $6.99 for these I feel like it's reasonable but to think that four water repellent napkins is only a dollar cheaper than these amazing beaded coasters pricing's a little off okay I feel like these could have been like $4.99, but that's just me. Sticking with napkins, I did get one more set of kitchen towels that say eat, drink, and be scary. And this really is one of the cutest prints I've seen in a long time. And it's very, very me. I'm a really big fan of spooky cocktails and this is just so on theme for me. And then it's got the polka dots, which perfectly ties in my spooky carnival vibe. And they're so thick and soft and beautiful. Like these are just perfect kitchen towels. They were so worth the money, it's insane. And they were only, see, these were $6.99. These are $6.99. Totally not comparable. Like these are great and very on theme and that's why I got them, but they are nowhere near the quality of these. So if you see these at TJ Maxx for $6.99, please get them immediately. 
very thick, beautiful kitchen towels. I love the little jack-o'-lantern in the cocktail with the cobwebs, the green straw with the stems and the little bag. They were just designed so perfectly and it's really gonna tie a lot of things together in the kitchen. Mm. I was in need in a new pair of oven mitts and I picked up these really awesome skeleton hand silicone oven mitts from a brand called Eastwick. How cute are these? Seriously. I just felt like these stripes will also help to tie in my carnival circus theme in the kitchen. And these are just really well made oven mitts. Look at the inside too. Like these are just so beautifully made for the price. These were only $9.99. These are going to be loved for many years to come. I'm actually going to take them off because <laughs> I think these are going to look super cute with my outfit right now. Not going to lie. Can you picture me cooking these right now? I can. It kind of completes the look, don't you think? <laughs> what do you think, Bone Hilda? Not amused? Not amused. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. These are cool. Next, I picked up this really adorable ghost spoon rest. And surprisingly enough, that is one item I've never bought in all of my years of doing hauls and Halloween decorating. I've never bought a spoon rest. And that had to change. That had to change this year because this one has little polka dots on the handle, which is so perfectly on theme again for the Halloween carnival vibe in the kitchen. It is just so perfect for that. There's not much more to say about it. It is just a spoon rest. I just love the classic ghost face. <laughs> Very just simplistic and almost a little bit vintagey and just straightforward. Halloween in your face. If you can't tell, I typically mostly love straightforward Halloween iconic pieces. Really simplistic. Like this is an iconic ghost. This is an iconic jack-o'-lantern face. Like the vintage icons, man. I love the vintage Halloween icons and this is no exception. Absolutely love it. Very excited to use the spoon rest for chili nights, for our pumpkin bisque nights, if you will. Gotta have a spoon rest, man. I don't know how I've gone this whole time without a spoon rest. Honestly, sticking with the ghost polka dot vibe, look at this darling mug, you guys. Seriously, I'm so sorry to the people that I promised a spooky mug collection video. Trust and believe I did film you guys one, but it is still sitting on my hard drive half edited. And if I have time, I will get that out for you guys very shortly. But look at this new addition to my spooky mug collection. I love him so much. He is just another very simple vintagey ghost with the orange and white polka dots that tie in that carnival theme. And you guys, I am loving the rim on here. It is a scalloped rim, which is very different. This is very unlike any Halloween mug that I currently have. And I love the orange handle. It's just such a vibe. All the colors are represented. All the food groups are represented. <laughs> I really love the texture on this ghost. This is just such a pleasant mug to hold in your hands. It really is. And it really does make a nice gift. I love that on here they have a little two from gift tag that's so cute. Dude, this mug was only $5.99 for his beautiful and it's so big too. Holds the perfect amount of coffee. This is just the perfect addition to your autumn and Halloween morning routine. And yeah, absolutely in love with this mug and I have a couple more mugs to show you guys. For years, I have been searching for the perfect set of stackable Halloween mugs, and I think I finally found it. This is just the perfect set of stackable mugs I've ever seen because it provides you with different sizes. They're not just standard like stackable mugs where they're all the same size. No, no, no. You get different size mugs here and that is what I love about it because I am a person who loves options. I absolutely love my options. We have a regular sized mug here, your typical standard medium to large size coffee mug. Then you have a smaller one also another perfect size for coffee or tea and then you have a tiny mug that you could use for like espresso okay espresso or just like i don't know i don't know what else would go in here probably espresso or like just that last little shot of coffee man that's that's left at the bottom of your coffee pot and you're, that you're not sure if you should have it but you know you just you just need that extra little kick man yeah <laughs> but i mean have you seen a more perfect stack of mugs honestly and they all have a different face too. The set of mugs has so much character, honestly. This is going to go perfectly in our coffee bar area and I'm super excited because this is just the stack of mugs I've always wanted. It really is. It's so perfect. Look at it, dude. Uh, it was $12.99. I feel like they could have done with $9.99. That would have been better, but alas, still absolutely worth the money because these are really sturdy too. Oh my God, why am I just now realizing <laughs> that the handles spell out boo. That is now worth, Never mind. I take it back. I take it back. That makes it worth $12.99 for sure now. Look at that. 
absolute perfection. And for the last mug that I picked up, will it be a surprise? Not really. You know how much I love the poison apple and this is a poison apple mug I do not yet have. I have a couple different ones, but I don't have a red one with the green drip as a mug. I have it as a candle holder, but not as a mug. So I just had to finally pick one up. Only $9.99, great steal. And inside the mug, it says just a touch of evil. But it's a very gorgeous mug all around. I am in love with it. The drip is perfect. Whenever I see anything poison apple, I just have to pick it up, so new member of the poison apple family and now onto an item that i'm super excited about because this is another item like the stackable mugs that i have been wanting for years and i just never found the perfect one until today and that is a halloween teapot <laughs> look how cute i love his stitched features very scarecrow vibes his little stem comes off perfect and if you turn it it kind of puts it perfectly in place where the lid doesn't come off, which I love that feature about it. And the handle is a little pumpkin vine, which I love so much. And the spout is just so perfect. This is just the most perfect vibey Halloween teapot I have seen yet at Home Goods after all these years. And I really felt like it was worth it to pick it up. So I'm really excited to drink my Trader Joe's pumpkin spice tea out of this. Or some organic chai tea. Ooh, a good chai tea. Or a big old pot of cider big old pot of cider in here. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, yes. This one was the hardest one for me to buy because the price is steep for what it is and how little I will probably use it. Like I'm gonna use it all through the spooky season, but like it's $24.99, $24.99, but it's just such a statement piece. I love mixing the Scarecrow vibe with a Jack Lantern. That's just such a beautiful combination to me and I absolutely love it. So this is just one of my most favorite things that I've picked up so far this year. So we're in the home stretch of home goods, but I just want to show you guys the last few items that I got. The next thing I picked up are these two awesome Halloween dessert plates. Like how cute are these guys? Seriously. And again, they are in that perfect color scheme that I love so much. It also happens to be striped, which will also fit in with that carnival theme. I'm just not realizing that her hat looks like a candy corn. Just a little bit just a little bit. Such a great portion plate for snacks, for small meals. Absolutely love them. Such a vibe. I swear if I say that one more time, someone's gonna kill me. So my last few items from Home Goods, I'm just gonna go through really fast. I got these awesome baking cups that also have that circusy print on them. You've got the checkered with the stripes. Gonna be perfect for my Halloween cupcakes this year, and they're gonna fit in perfectly with our kitchen theme. For some reason, I just had to get these because it's the perfect color scheme, and sometimes this combination of colors is hard to find in sprinkles for some reason. It's just black, white, and orange, but I really have a hard time finding this combination. I just had to pick it up just to have them on hand. Next few things are some gems that my mom found, which were great. These fall food storage containers, which are super cute. Very festive in the fridge. We gotta keep it festive all over the house. Always love a good glass storage container. All your fall goodies. Next, we picked up these awesome Ray Dunn coffee cups. And I was just talking about these in my Bath and Body Works haul, or at least cups that are like these. Dixie used to make like fall print travel coffee cups. This is like a step up from that and I absolutely love it. We usually use reusable cups, but in the event that for some reason you can't, these are really good to have on hand and they're super festive, love that. And finally, we have these awesome pumpkin spice print coffee napkins. I just think that they're the cutest thing, even going into November, because they are very, Thanksgiving vibes, I must say. You can't go wrong with just little items like this that just make a huge difference in your level of festivity. The glass containers, the coffee cups, little napkins, things like that can go a long way in making you feel like in the Halloween spirit, man. So that was everything that I got from Home Goods. I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I did pick up from Amazon. Now, when it comes to these two Amazon orders, these are items I have been eyeing up for at least two years now, if not longer. They just kept coming up on my radar are, but it just wasn't the right time. They were kind of expensive and they also didn't quite fit my theme in the moment, but now they're going to, and I'm really excited. So I'm going to show you guys. There's eight items here, but they're in like sets. I picked up these amazing ceramic Halloween plates, dude, and I did not really expect them to be this gorgeous in person, but they were everything I wanted and more. I thought maybe that the ceramic was a lie, like, I, or the prints would be different, but no, these are as gorgeous in person as I thought that they would be at that I hoped that they would be and they're just the absolute perfect vintage Halloween vibey plates and I love all of the detailing on here you guys these are such 
detailed designs on these plates. So this is just two. They do come in a set of four. And oh my God, this one I'm looking at right now, man. It's absolute perfection. Oh my God, these are so good. Don't be a scaredy cat with the very, very classic vintage black cat. And my favorite, the classic jack-o'-lantern with the trick-or-treat. I'm loving these green ghosts on the sides and all of the detailing in the corners. Like these designs are absolutely gorgeous. I have never been in love with dishware like ever before in my life. Those plates were everything I wanted and more and I'm just I'm so happy to finally have them. You guys have no idea. But I did get another set of something that complements these plates. So there are matching coffee mugs. Yeah, aren't they awesome? Look how amazing these mugs are. And I'm telling you guys, these are great quality. Let the reviews say what they may. I think these are fantastic. The designs are gorgeous. I've been eyeing them up for a couple of years and they are everything I hoped that they would be. Can you get anything more Halloween-y than this? I don't think so. I really don't. The plates with the mugs, super Halloween-y. This is making me really upset that I already filmed my spooky mug collection video because I just have so many more to add to it. Maybe I'll just have to do like a new insert of footage to add these in. And we are still only halfway through this haul. So I'm gonna try to speed it up a little. So next we're gonna move on to Killstar, which is always such an exciting event. I get things from Killstar year round, but I really do love their items for Halloween. And I think they've caught on to that, even though it's supposed to be spooky year-round items. They really have started to release exclusive things just for Halloween. So I'm just gonna start with the first thing I see and that I'm most excited about. And that is this awesome open mouth jack-o'-lantern. Look how huge this is, first of all. Very huge open mouth jack-o'-lantern. Can be used for so many different things. You can illuminate this guy. You can put fairy lights in him. You can put candy in here. You could put K-cups, bath bombs. Every I mean, I've used these open mouth jack-o'-lanterns for so many things, but I picked this one up because one of mine sadly broke last year so I knew I needed a new one this year. I bought all of this during a sale in July so yeah this package has been sitting around for a couple of months but yeah I was super excited when I saw this guy on sale because I just I needed a new open mouth jack lantern and he's absolutely perfect. Not sure exactly where I'll put him yet but there will be a fantastic use for this for sure. Within the same vein I bought these two matching jars for the kitchen. I believe the design is called spicy pumpkin. They are such a unique unique design for jack-o'-lantern faces. I mean, seriously, really cool vibe. The only gripe that I have about actually most items, most Halloween items from Killstar, the orange is more of like a yellow orange, you know? Not a true orange, like how you see my backdrop here. These are a little bit more on the yellow side, which it's okay, it's still orange, but it's a little bit on the yellowy side. But these jars, they're gonna really come in handy in the kitchen, and I'm really excited to see how they tie everything together in there. I thought that these were just very unique pieces. The mouth kind of looks like flames, so hence spicy pumpkin, you know? You know? Yeah. <laughs> the lids do have the rubber ring around it, so they are very secure when you put them on. Look how sturdy that is! Hell yeah! So the next couple of items that I picked up were a rug and a doormat. So the rug is the spicy pumpkin rug. We finally open this guy. Let's just, let's just do the whole thing. Let's do the whole thing. Oh my god, this is so cool. It's a spicy pumpkin rug! This is the coolest thing of my life. It kind of feels like a bath mat though, to be honest. I don't know. I'm thinking bedroom or office. We shall see. This is so soft. Oh my god, I love it. For the doormat, I got the knock if you dare doormat. I'm loving the font on here. The classic jack-o'-lantern face with the skulls in the corners and the scroll border. Just, I'm loving it's it. It's not one of the most aesthetic doormats you've ever seen. Seriously, Killstar can do no wrong. So the next items I got from Killstar are actually a couple of clothing items. First thing is this orange and black striped distressed sweater. I've been wanting one of these for a long time, but I just could not decide on a color scheme. And I finally bit the bullet this year and I got the orange and black one. It's called the Beautiful Hooded Knit Sweater. This is just gonna be such a vibe this season. Really looking forward to wearing this. I love it and it is so soft. I mean, Killstar's clothing is just always my favorite. Everything I buy from them, I wear all the time. They're just high quality and like look at those sleeves. Such an aesthetic. It's really hard to show you guys how amazing this looks in person, but I will just insert photos of it so you can see. What do you think, Von Hilda? Is it your style? Because apparently we we like the same things now. 
We're, we're wearing the same clothing. You wanna try it on? No? Okay. I also got their cuffed carver leggings. These are just the cutest print, you guys. I was in need of some upgraded spooky lounge pants and these are definitely the business. Like, look at the jack-o'-lantern with the knife coming out of it. I mean, really. Yeah, these leggings are also so soft. Everything from Killstar, I absolutely love. But these are gonna be so comfy, I swear. A lot of print on print action. I think it's gonna be overkill. So I'll probably pair these not together. I'll pair them with something else. But I'm really excited to just have a nice new on theme sweater, really cool leggings. Always love clothes from Killstar. Oh, I totally forgot about this one. How could I forget about this? This one's still in the box. Oh my God. Okay, so this is extra cool. Hopefully you guys can see it on camera. Hopefully the lighting does this piece justice. So it's another jar, okay? I'm just, I went jar crazy this year. I don't know what I was thinking, but now I have jars for all the things. I got this jack-o'-lantern cookie jar and it's a mix of shiny black and matte black. How cool is that? That black on black action right there is amazing. It's so aesthetic and I'm living for it. It's got this drip effect all around it. It's just so cool looking in person. Almost kind of looks like a poison apple type jack-o'-lantern because the shiny part is almost like a drip. It just looks like a shiny drip on a matte black pumpkin creating this very epic face and it's just such a vibe. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> I mean, if you guys have been playing a drinking game for every time I say the word vibe, I'm concerned for you. <laughs> I really am. Go to the emergency room. Oh, yet another Killstar item I almost forgot. And it is an incense burner. If you got it, haunt it. I need a new incense burner that fit my aesthetic and it fit Halloween because I've been burning a lot of lavender incense to center myself. And I just, I needed a new burner, okay? It was time, it was time. And I just thought that this was, you know, season appropriate, okay? Last item from Killstar. It is this trick or treat hanging banner. Hopefully I can kind of show it to you and do it justice, but I just, I know it's like, yeah, I don't know, probably not. But like I said, I'm going for that Halloween carnival theme and this just will fit in so well. Little pom-poms on the string, love it or treat. How cute is that? Seriously. Killstar, stop being so cute. Why are you so cute? Stop it. We're supposed to be spooky over here. Why are you so cute? You can be spooky and cute at the same time, just like Bone Hilda over here. I just cannot impress her. I cannot impress her whatsoever. Moving on to the one and only item that I purchased at Michael's this year because they had nothing that I wanted. I went for the Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein busts from Michaels because they are so me and I cannot find them anywhere. I'm very brokenhearted about it, but it is what it is. But I did pick up this amazing garland for yet again, the spooky carnival vibe. It is a candy corn garland. It's got the polka dots, the stripes, candy corn, and it just kind of repeats, man. And I'm really excited to see how it enhances this year's decor. These things, they just, they just go so well together. <laughs> and next is my one and only item that I got from Target because Target wants to wait a million years to put out their Halloween decor and I just don't have time for it. So this is the one and only item I got, which was from the dollar spot. And it's this little like faux gumball machine kind of a vibe, but the lid is a little pumpkin lid, which is so perfect. And I think I might fill this with something that's gonna go really well with the spooky carnival theme. So that's the only thing I picked up from Target for Halloween. Oh, I just wanna point out something that's been sitting on my desk almost every day now. And it's something that my mom picked up for me because when she saw it, she just thought of me and I just thought it was the sweetest thing when she got this for me. And it is just this little, little, little squishy beanie baby. It's so stress relieving to squeeze it. So that's why I keep it on my desk. It's just, oh, it's just so festive and so cute. I just really appreciate that she thought of me when she saw it. It's super cute and what is this beanie's name? Ramona. I wear a hat for this occasion. I am of the pumpkin persuasion. Halloween is meant for fun. Costumes are for everyone. <laughs> My birthday is January 17th. Weird. Ramona, you really can't have an October birthday. That January 17th doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. Too bad. I love her so much and I love my mom so much. And whenever I look at this, I'm gonna think of my mom and it makes me happy. So 
super cute, super cozy. Thank you, mama. So that's it for the decor portion, but there are a couple extra odds and ends that I want to throw in here that I did buy for the season. And that is a few boxes of K-Cups from Bones. So they haven't released their main Halloween staple flavors yet, like the Jack o Lantern or the Caramel Apple. But I did pick up the Pumpkin Pecan Praline Coffee, as well as another one of my favorites from Dusk Till Donuts, as well as one final one final box of coconut rum man for the end of summer. <laughs> but yeah, I love Bones. Can't you tell? <laughs> Bone Hilda, is Bones your favorite? Looks like you're dying to try it. And the last things I picked up were some polishes from Hollow Taco. I've been wanting to order some Hollow Taco polishes for such a long time now. Is that my tea? <laughs> I was a big fan of Christine back in the day, man. And I finally took the opportunity to order some new polish. There are a few here, but these are the most fall ones that I got. So two of these colors are from this year's fall collection, and that is the Stay Grounded Polish, which is like this really nice muted orangey brown, as well as the Fallen Flake Top Coat, which has this gorgeous orangey green flakes, where it just it looks like leaves, dude. It really does. I use that top coat over the black that's on my nails right now. My entire manicure right here is nothing but hollow taco. Since I spend so much time doing my own nails at home and I kind of hate doing my nails to be honest. So like I wanted it to be a nice, pleasant, festive experience this year. So I figured I'd pick up some hollow taco. So those are the two colors from the current fall collection. And then I went ahead and finally picked up Xyler the Cat. It is the perfect orangey glitter shade. I also got one coat black. So these are the three shades that are on my nails right now. Absolutely gorgeous. I did get Circuit Breaker, which is just your classic hollow polish, as well as the Long Lasting Base and the Classic Glossy Taco, which I'm also wearing right now. So far, I really love the hollow taco polishes. I did find that Xyler the Cat, the glitter polish, did take some work. The one I was using before this was by KB Shimmer, I believe, and I can't find that one in stock anymore, but that one was so good. This one's good too, but it took a couple of coats. If you put it on too thick, you're gonna be in trouble. The more you swipe over it, it's gonna keep like wiping itself off. So a couple of thin layers of this to get this result. Some fall hollow taco for you. Halloween decor haul 2023. We did it. We had a great time. I hope you guys did as well. If you did, please let me know in the comments below which items were your favorite from the haul or which store. Was it Home Goods? Was it Killstar? Who killed it this year with the Halloween decor? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to see more content like this in the future. I have more Halloween videos coming for you very soon, so please stay tuned. Until then, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay spooky.